Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 902. Although it is Monday, we will be doing a brainy Tuesday, number 58 today. We've got something special planned for tomorrow. Has to happen tomorrow, so brainy Tuesday gets moved up one day. 20 questions with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end of the video. All these are just a little more difficult than normal. So, good luck. Question number one. On sailing ships, the sailor holding this position would command one of the ship's smaller boats and would act as its helmsman. What is the name for this position, which in regattas refers to the person who steers the skull and directs the crew? This position is called the coxswain. Question number two. Among his poems are La Belle Dame Sans Merci and Endymion, which contains the line, A thing of beauty is a joy forever. What is the name of the romantic poet whose better known works include Ode on a Grecian Urn and Ode to a Nightingale? Ode on a Grecian Urn is by John Keats. Question number three. Under the system, vassals gain title to fiefs in return for giving a percentage of the land's income and a commitment to provide troops to their lords in a time of war. What was the name of this social and political system that dominated Western Europe through the Middle Ages? This system was known as feudalism. Question number four. For hundreds of years after the fall of Rome, it was overrun by numerous Germanic tribes until it passed to Hungary in 1003. Bounded by the Alps and the Carpathians, the most famous resident of what region of Romania was a prince of nearby Wallachia who became famous for the way he tortured his captives. That region is known as Transylvania, and that resident was Vlad the Impaler. Question number five. Author and social critic George Bernard Shaw uses the training methods of Henry Higgins to suggest that a person's station in life depends on how that person is treated. Eliza Doolittle had to learn this lesson the hard way in what play which formed the basis for the musical comedy, My Fair Lady. The answer is Pygmalion. Question number six. After Achilles was killed by Paris, he and Odysseus retrieved the body and he claimed the hero's armor, believing that it should go to the strongest of the warriors. Who was this figure of Greek myth who went insane and killed himself when the armor was awarded to the wise Odysseus? His name was Ajax. Question number seven. First used in 1923 and named after a British logician, they use closed contours to represent sets and can be thought of as graphical representation of Boolean algebra. What is the name for these diagrams where the relative position and overlap of the contours indicate the relationships between the sets? Those overlapping diagrams are called Venn diagrams. Question number eight. Although it has shown promise in combating leprosy and other terminal illnesses for which there are no other treatments, the regulations on the drug are based on its track record from the late 1950s. What is this sedative whose use was banned in 1962 due to the thousands of massive 
birth defects that it caused. The answer is thalidomide. Question number nine. In 1938, what Italian theoretical physicist used his trip to Stockholm, Sweden to receive the Nobel Prize as a chance to defect to the United States with his Jewish wife and two children? His name? was Enrico Fermi. Question number 10. Widowed at age 21, this Japanese baroness and court figure was a lady-in-waiting to the Empress Akiko and probably wrote for her entertainment. What was the name of this author whose 1015 work, The Tale of Genji, is considered to be one of the first literary works to be written in the novel form? Her name was Murasaki, Lady Murasaki Shikibu. Question 11. His film resume includes appearances in such literary-based fare as Pilgrim's Progress, Ethan Frome, and Nell, as well as more dramatic roles in Excalibur, Kroll, and Darkman. Who is this Irish actor who made poignant performances as the central characters in Schindler's List and Rob Roy? The answer is Liam Neeson. Question number 12. On the open sea, they can have wavelengths of hundreds of miles, but amplitudes of only a few feet. When they approach shallows, their amplitudes sometimes increase to hundreds of feet. What are these seismic phenomena which take their name from the Japanese for harbor wave? The answer is a tsunami. Question number 13. Born in 1883, this Czech-born Austrian novelist and short story writer presented a nightmarish version of the modern world in his works, which include The Castle and The Trial. What is the name of this author who recounted the tale of Gregor Samsa in his masterwork, The Metamorphosis? The Metamorphosis was written by Franz Kafka. Question 14. An oracle foretold that the man who could untie this devilish tangle would rule the world. And then, according to legend, Alexander the Great cut it with a single stroke of his sword, and the rest is history. What was the name of this knot? The answer is the Gordian Knot. Question 15. It causes Patau syndrome if it occurs in chromosome 13, Edwards syndrome when it occurs in chromosome 18, and Down syndrome if it occurs in chromosome 21. What is this genetic disorder which results when one or more chromosomes occur in sets of three instead of in pairs? If they occur in sets of three, it's known as trisomy. Question number 16, he is referred to in Langland's Piers Plowman, and the first detailed history about him places him in southwest Yorkshire. The best known ballad about him tells of his duel against Guy of Gisborne. What is the name of this outlaw who appears in Sir Walter Scott's Ivanhoe as Loxley? You know him better as Robin Hood. Question 17. 
a coalition of Roman, Frankish, and Visigothic forces under Flavius Aetius defeated him in the Battle of chalon sur marne in 452, forcing him back into Central Europe. Who was this warlord who became king of his people in 433 and is known by many as the Scourge of God? The answer is Attila the Hun. Question 18. It was inscribed on a slab of black stone about 8 feet high, consists roughly of 4,000 lines, and was allegedly issued with authority from Shamash, the sun god. What is the name of this set of laws which takes its name from the Babylonian king who developed it? This set of laws was known as the Code of Hammurabi. Question 19. All because the color of his hair, Jabez Wilson is hired by a mysterious society and is paid a good salary for the ridiculously simple task of copying the encyclopedia. Luckily, Sherlock Holmes deduces that the society is a cover for a clever group of bank robbers in What Story by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle? That group was called the Red-Headed League. Question 20. This king was so clever, he even outwitted the gods several times. However, they got the last laugh as he was condemned to push a stone up a hill for all of eternity, only to have it roll back down just before he got to the top. What was this king's name? Rolling the stone up the hill is the story of King Sisyphus. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Be patient with us this week as we are going to be doing a quite a bit of airplane travel. I'm not sure how much work I'll be able to get done on the plane and in the airport once we get to the hotel I should be able to record these episodes so as long as I can keep writing the trivia questions and uh, getting the back end work done we should be able to keep up fairly good but just giving you a heads up I got a lot of cool things going on this week and uh, I may be a little bit busy to hit the schedule every day on road trip ya. so wish me luck I'll do what I can the main goal is to get them up eventually, but I'm going to try to get them up at the right time. We're doing Brainy Tuesday today instead of tomorrow, because tomorrow we've got a special trivia quiz, so you're going to want to stick around for that. It's going to fall sort of into the random knowledge category. It's got 21 questions from a whole bunch of different categories, but it's for a special purpose, so stick around. Make sure you're here for that, and then it'll be normal regular trivia the rest of the week here is question 21 for today the tiebreaker for episode 902 brainy tuesday number 58 these molecules which are unique in their ability to reproduce themselves consist of a backbone made up of phosphates and a type of sugar and four bases of these bases adenine pairs with thymine and guanine pairs with cystosine. What is the name of this acid contained in all human cells discovered in 1953 by James Watson and Francis Crick? The acid we're looking for is deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. I believe Watson and Crick were the ones that found out it was spiral shaped. There was one other guy, I can't remember what his name is, but Watson, Crick, and one other guy won the Nobel Prize for it in 1953. Thank you for watching. 
See you tomorrow. All right, actually, I looked it up. They were awarded the prize in 1962 for their discovery that they made in 1953 of the molecular structure of DNA, and the third guy was Maurice Wilkins. Wilkins. James Watson, Francis Crick, and Maurice Wilkins are the ones that won the Nobel Prize. All right, now I'll see you later.